Hello everyone, this is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and joining me um, in this video today. I'm coming to you from the corner of Stuffed Animals. Um, I also got like a poster of some of my theater accolades back behind me. So, um, but yes, this is my squishy corner. I'm trying to film different areas and different aspects. And um, I just filmed a video about some squishables. So if you're interested in seeing some huge squishables please be sure to check out that video today i have another special video for you guys because again i am a procrastinator um if you've been here long enough you should already know that and you shouldn't expect anything from me at this point because who knows when i'm going to do stuff and whatever so anyways <laughs> enough about me let's uh get into this video i'm going to share with you guys um how ridiculous i am how absolutely like Completely ridiculous I am um, let me show you um, a giant bag that is full of good amazing deals on toys oh, it doesn't even like fit in the frame oh my goodness okay so today I am going to share with you guys my ridiculous uh, toy haul from FYE for your entertainment. Um, I will give a tiny little backstory. I don't know if FYE is like super widespread, but um, Hastings used to be pretty well known. Hastings was kind of like a, I got into it from renting video games and um, renting movies. So they, they used to do renting and stuff like that. They had a lot of pop, pop culture stuff. They had comic books that, you know, ours even had like a coffee shop in it. So my husband and I loved Hastings. We would literally go there like at, at 10 o'clock at night and they close at 11 and we would just walk around for no reason. And like we, we bought, we bought things, Blech. we bought things a lot, but unfortunately Hastings, um, closed. This was pre whatever's going on right now. You know what I mean? Um, this was like in 2018 maybe. Um, so anyways, they went bankrupt and so, our only saving grace is uh, once a year, we celebrate our anniversary in February, and we go usually to um, Hot Springs, Arkansas. And um, in Hot Springs, they do have a mall, and in that mall, they have an FYE store. We discovered it on our um, first anniversary trip, or our first, I guess, our honeymoon. Um, and we go every year that we go to Hot Springs. We just have to go, because when we go to um, FYE in, in February, they always have a huge clearance sale. Like everything is clearance and they're trying to get rid of stuff and it's just ridiculous. They have giant like cardboard boxes just full of toys and stuff just marked down, way down. So we make it a, um, a point to stop there. And since I've started this YouTube channel, I've been trying to keep my eye out for um, toys that I don't like to do trending things necessarily. I want things that if I open it, I'm going to keep it and use it. <laughs> or I'm going to give it to somebody like my nephew who really, there's stuff in here that he wants and I'm going to give it to him. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I, I keep my eye open every time we go to FYE now. And so I'm going to show you my giant haul from FYE. So this is a bag full. I think I got, um, what was it? Around 30 almost 40 items total and I made a budget for myself I said I'm only gonna spend a hundred dollars like I literally budgeted that money for just FYE because I was like I want to get some stuff to do some videos on because I really want to share some awesome toys with you guys so I budgeted myself a hundred dollars and I only spent $81 and I got around 40 items so that's actually a really good deal, um, and a lot of these were dirt cheap, and since they're dirt cheap, they are old, so again, that's where it comes into, I don't really care about trends. If it's stuff that I like, uh, I want to share with you and show you, so, all right, so some of these toys may not be um, completely still in circulation. You may be able to find them at an FYE store, so, all right, giant bag from FYE. Oh, here's the receipt. <laughs> it doesn't look that long, but there's a lot of stuff on here. Because they, if they would have done each individual item, because I got like five of one thing and I like four of another. If they did like each individual item, it would be a lot longer. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Here it is. Never mind. I don't know. That was my husband's. That was my husband's receipt. 
That was my husband's receipt. Here's my receipt. You ready? It's still going. <laughs> There's my receipt. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, you came for the toys. So here are the toys. I will put a timestamp probably down there saying that when I actually started showing you the toys. Because I like to talk. Okay, first thing on top. If you haven't already seen on my channel, please like and subscribe my videos, by the way, guys. Um, I'm almost at 200 subscribers, which is really awesome because I probably started out like with only 10 and they're usually family and friends. So thank you if you're um, subscribing to my channel. But here's the thing is that <laughs> literally 99% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. And I know that that's a big trend on YouTube. I really don't care. But if you're watching and you enjoy it, like like and subscribe so you'll see more from me that's that's all I gotta say okay so I am obsessed with squishables yes squishables here go check out the squishables video of the giant squishables I found a squishable a squishable in a store okay I had no idea that squishables actually like commercially sold to stores do you see it I love it I love it I love it oh my gosh Okay, so I found a Squishable, and this is actually a retiring style from Squishables. I saw it online, and I just, I'm not, I love unicorns. I just wasn't big into buying it from Squishables.com, but when I saw it at FYE, and I saw that they were selling it for, um, online for Squishables, it was $19.99. In FYE, it was $14.99, but I only paid $8.91 for this Squishable unicorn and I like this one the most because it's pastel I really like pastel stuff so squishables are super cute super fun I've got some a lot of videos on squishables because I just love them and I love this little guy eee! I just love it and he has like his tongue sticking out he's like mm. so cute if you give him a squeeze he goes <laughs> I love it so this is the unicorn squishable it is a mini and it was only eight dollars huh. I love it okay He's going to join my collection because I actually love him. Okay, next thing. This is one of the only things I paid full price for. Um, so I've watched the new movie Soul from Pixar, and it's it's good. I enjoy it. Um, it's maybe not one that I will watch over and over like Tangled or Princess and the Frog. Those are like my two favorites that I watch all the time. And Ratatouille. I watch Ratatouille all the time. But anyways, um, so I'm obsessed with cats, if you haven't already seen as well. Um, so I'm obsessed with cats and for soul, I know like the actual Mr. Mittens wasn't in there a lot because technically I don't want to spoil anything, but like Mr. Mittens is in there, but not completely. So anyways, I found a Mr. Mittens Funko Pop and he's holding the pizza and he just made me think of my new toot toot. I'm going to go find him and show him to you. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh my gosh, he's so scared. Dun 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 dun! See? He kind of reminds me of my new too, even though he doesn't have the white on him. Holy cow, he's such a big boy. Love him so much. Mwah. Okay, run and play. Anyways, <laughs> he just reminds me of Newt a little bit because he's big and fat, if you haven't seen. Um, <laughs> and Newt will eat literally anything if you don't watch him. So, yeah. So, this is the only thing that I actually paid full price for. I really want this Mr. Mittens too of the sole version of Mr. Mittens. Um, there's no price on it and I could probably look on the receipt, but I'm assuming it's probably around like $8. That's what they usually are. Okay, let's look at the actual toys now. Hmm, how do I wanna do this? Um, okay, the first thing that I saw when I walked in, let me just dump this out for a second. Let me show you this. Okay. <laughs> so, um, in my last video for Squishables, um, I did talk about how I wanted to buy the giant banana one, but I just couldn't justify getting another banana related thing. 
Um, but I did find the little micro banana squishable. So this is the micro squishable. He has a keychain. Um, I think he was, it says $6.99, but I think he was on sale too because all the squishables were on sale. So he was probably about 40% off is what they were running. So, I don't know, like $2 off of that, probably like $4. So that is the banana squishable. I love it. I don't know what my thing is about bananas, but I like those. Okay, and next thing, I had never seen these before. But they were already buy one, get one 50. So some of these toys were buy one, get one 50. Some were just like dirt cheap. These were buy one, get one 50. These are called kitty cones. Oh my goodness. I love kitty cats so stinking much. And I've never seen this before. Apparently it's their erasers because they're actually kind of heavy. Um, but you can like actually take them out of the cones and all kinds of stuff. And like you can change out like the uh, toppings and stuff. I don't know. I just thought these were so cute and different and they were buy one get one 50. So I did get two. There was only two they had or I would have got more. So be sure. Oh, here's a better picture of the, the um, sticker than over it. So be sure to um, check out a video in the future um, of me opening these. These are so cute. If you've seen these somewhere else, like a Target or something, I don't know. I've never seen them. So if you've seen them somewhere else, please let me know. I'll probably want more because I'm a teacher and I'm obsessed with stationery, so erasers and I'm obsessed with cats, so perfect. All right, so those were um, buy one, get one 50. They were five dollars, so seven dollar ish total for both. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot I got this too. <laughs> um, this is a Luke Skywalker uh, plushie, he kind of has like corduroy hair. These remind me, I think these are the same style as um some of the harry potter ones that i have like the same i don't know like the same brand kind of but this is luke skywalker and let's see he was okay this is a really good deal on this one he was um 10.99 from manufacturer in uh, fye he was 9.77 but he was on sale for a dollar 94 how cool is that? A dollar ninety four. I actually have a Wampa uh, plushie, and so I thought these two would go together pretty well. Even though he's not in his snow outfit, I have the one with him in his snow outfit too. But yeah, so I got a little Skywalker plushie for a dollar ninety four. Oh my goodness! Next thing I want to show you. Oh, another thing I paid full price for because I'm just weird and I don't understand it. But anyways. <laughs> Um, was some lip, uh, not lipstick, but like lip balm, chapstick. This is peanut butter and jelly flavored lipstick or lip balm. Ugh. Lip balm. I don't know. I, I was just, I was kind of grabbing stuff. This was a dollar. So I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and try it. Cause I like peanut butter and jelly. Um, they did have mac and cheese flavor and they had pepperoni pizza flavor. Uh, I stuck with this. <laughs> so there I have that. Um, another thing that was buy one, get one 50. No, these, no, these were full price. Okay. Oh my goodness. Squishy things, squishies and plushies. Uh, why, why do I love them so much? Okay. So these are squish mallows mystery. This is called mystery squad. They smell a little bit like candy. I can kind of, I kind of smell them through it. Um, but here are the designs that we can get. There is a mystery. These were $6.99. So I did pay full price for these two. Um, oh, look at the side. I love it. I have some Squishmallows. I actually have um, the kitty cats. Duh. Um, so yeah, I got those. Mystery. Um, some random. Let's see. Yeah, let's talk about these now. Um, <laughs> uh, they had like a little section that was buy one, get one 50. Um, and I love squishies. Like, I love stuffed animals. I love squishies so much. Um, and I actually did a video, re not recently, like a year ago, of Mickey and Minnie um, squishies. They were called um, Mashmallows. They were like Mashems. And that video is actually doing really well. And it's like two years old. Like, people are actually watching it. Which is like crazy because nobody watched it when I posted it. But now it's just like all of a sudden everybody loves these things. And I'm like, I can't find any more. Like they're just sold out. But I actually found some different ones. 
Um, these are mash mallow, right? Mashmallows from Mashems of Jurassic World dinosaurs. Oh, I love dinosaurs. I love Jurassic Park. It's my favorite movie. Close tie for favorite book. Um, if you haven't noticed, I do love dinosaurs. My Jurassic Park pillow's over here. Um, so yeah, when I saw these, I knew I had to get some. These were $2.99. They were buy one, get one 50. And at first I grabbed like, uh, I think I grabbed four of them. And then there were like three left. And when we checked out, you know, I had that budget in mind. And then I had a discount too. So when it discounted it, I was like, hang on a second. And I went back and got the other ones. So I'm going to open these in a, a, fu a future video. So please check that out. I love squishy so much. So these were $2.99. They were half off. Or buy one, get one half off. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those um, that will be in a future video. And those are what my nephew really wants. So um, I'll probably get a lot of duplicates. I'm hoping not, but check out that video later. You may see if I do or do not. Okay. Something else that I got multiples of. I found some Nightmare Before Christmas plushies, okay? So these are like the mystery minis. I've done some videos on these two before. You can see the price on there. Look at that. Does that say $1.41? $1.41 for a blind bag Disney um, Nightmare Before Christmas plushie. That is awesome. Um, I don't know the original price on this, but these were usually around five-ish, six-ish dollars. Sometimes there's seven, but it's usually like the, the key rings. So I found these plushies and I got four of these. We're going to open these in a video in the future too. So these were $1.41. Oh my goodness. I got four of them. So such good deals at FYE. Um, I think it had a lot to do with what's going on, you know, right now, what's going on 2020 into 2021. Um, that they had a bunch of merchandise from where they closed down and they're trying to sell it, but they still have like a good sale every year. I feel like, okay. One random thing that I did find in one of those big cardboard boxes was one of the, um, Sum Sums figural key, uh, keychain. Yeah. Key ring. I have a couple of these. I don't know if I opened them on camera or not, but this was a dollar 20. This one had already been opened and they stapled it back. And they taped a few like this too. So this is old, but this is series one. I'm pretty sure. Yes, this is series one. Um, so it's old. And so it probably got handled a lot by people. But also I do want to point out while we were there, we did see a lot of new things that were open, especially at the Books A Million we went to too. Um, don't open these bags, guys. I get that they're blind bags. You can feel them, but they've got papers and stuff in them. You know, don't open them. Because then sometimes stores can't resell them. I know now they're doing better about putting barcodes on the actual key rings. But don't do that in the store. I mean, it's a mystery for a reason. If you're actually trying to find a full set, then maybe find a friend or somebody that would, you know, trade with you or something. I don't know. End rant about <laughs> that kind of stuff. Okay, three things that I got that are, again, really random. I don't even know if I'll use them. But, hey, they were a dollar twenty, And they were Harry Potter. I have never seen these before. I've seen a uh, correction. I have seen this product before in different styles, but never of Harry Potter. So I found these. They were a dollar twenty originally. Five dollars for this tiny little thing. I mean, like it's it's tiny. It's yeah. Um, but these apparently are like cord buddies. Is that what they call them? They call them blings. Um, it says collect, protect, and personalize your cables. There's twelve to collect. So these go on cables. Like, I think I'm probably going to use one on my um, my MacBook charge cable because that one does tend to get bent a lot. And I'm definitely going to put one on my phone because I know I bend the end, like, right here a lot. So, I mean, it's, they're used to decorate your charger or to even protect it. So, I don't know. I thought it was neat for $1.20 in Harry Potter. So I got three of those. Um... Next, really old things. So, there's only a few things left. Um, <laughs> the next really old things that I found, these are Series 1. Series 1 um, of the Marvel keychains. The Marvel figural keychains. I don't remember getting this series. My husband says that he thinks that I did, but I don't remember getting this series. I remember getting, like, 
um, more the movie based ones. I know I got some Spider Man ones at one point, but I never opened them on camera. Well, no, I did open some on camera. There's an old video where I opened some on camera. Um, but anyways, I got these. They've got you know the regular Marvel one. Avengers was a big old thing. Um, so there's them on the back. So I got two of those, and this one again, it's like all taped up and stuff because somebody opened it already. But I was like, hey, I don't care. I'm gonna take it anyway. They were a dollar twenty-five a piece. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, yeah, this the same thing. Yeah, very cool. All right, another Marvel thing that I got. I only got one of these <laughs> because it was open, like literally ripped open. But I mean, the character was still inside, and they stapled it and stuff. Um, so, anyways, I found um, some Marvel Studios of like the mini uh, pint size. Sorry. Hmm pint size heroes i have a couple of these i don't think i opened these on camera i have some guardians of the galaxy ones like i have a tiny group one that i want to put on like my um dashboard of my car he's so cute so i got these this one and if you notice it is open and i paid only 95 cents for this little guy i'm gonna go ahead and open it on camera because i already know what it is um because i can see inside Somebody opened it, but I got it because it is Thor from Ragnarok, and he's in the Coliseum. He's got a little bit of something, something on his little face there, but anyway, I just thought it was cute. I actually like that movie a lot because Korg is so funny in that movie, and I, I really like, um, oh, what's her name, Valkyrie. I think she's pretty cool. So... And then, of course, you know, the Hulk is, like, in it, too. And he, anyway, really good movie. Go see it if you haven't seen it. So, there is Thor from Ragnarok. Very cool. I went ahead and opened that one because, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Okay, last things that I got are, again, I think these are, like, no, these aren't, like, a series. But these are, like, a one-time run. Um, and I haven't seen these before. These are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figural key rings from Nickelodeon. Um, so there's that, and you can see what I paid for these. These were a dollar twenty for these um, TMNT key rings. That's what they look like on the back. So I got three of those, and again, this wasn't like a series. It was like this is the only grouping they did. And that was it. So. I had to grab some of these. Um, my brother and I were really into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, mainly the uh, live action movies that they did that had the Vanilla Ice song in it or whatever it is. The go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. Because we were big into martial arts and I loved Raphael so much. Um, I actually took up the size in Taekwondo and Karate later. I did the size as a weapon. And I did both staff, but I didn't really like Donatello because people compared me to Don Donatello all the time because I was technically the smart one. So anyways, I always wanted to be Raphael. I wanted to be like the cool one, right? So that is all of the toys. And then, where'd it go? Oh, it's way over there. Um, my husband and I did buy a couple of like weird things. Um, so one thing that I did get is an actual Reptar bar. I've had these before. From FYE, there is green filling in it, and supposedly it's supposed to actually like turn your tongue really green, and it does from the last time I saw them. So I have a Reptar bar, um, and then the other two things are over here. <laughs> Give me just a second. Hang on. Hey, okay. oh, so many things. <laughs> be, be, back it up, back it up. Okay, and then my husband found um, an energy drink. From Dragon Ball Z is called the Spirit Bomb. Um, it doesn't really tell a flavor, and we don't really do energy drinks really. So I don't know. I just thought it was cool because it's Dragon Ball Z. And then I pointed these out, and he's like, "Yes, we have to buy them." So these are sensu beans, sensu beans. They are jelly beans um, that are supposed to mimic the sensu bean, which will give you know. I don't know the exact. I like Dragon Ball the most, and I like Dragon Ball Z some, um, but. Yeah, they're good for giving energy and restoring stamina. <laughs> so we just thought it was neat and different. They had stuff like that throughout the whole store. And so um, I'm probably going to taste test these Dragon Ball Z Sensu beans and the Reptar bar with the Kit Kats that I got from a video or I got in a Gentle and Squishies uh, haul. 
which I did a video on. So check out my channel later on. Please like, please subscribe, please come back um, and be part of our little community here where we like to talk about toys. <laughs> toys and other random geeky things. I like to get into different kinds of videos. So yes, so come back and check out us trying like weird flavored Kit Kats and a couple of other weird things and me opening all of these toys i'm i'm not sure if i'm gonna do like grab bag style and just open whatever because there's a couple of things or if i'm gonna like do a video on certain ones so definitely come back to see what is in all of these things that i bought i'm so excited to open them all i just want to rip them open right now but i also kind of want to share them with you so please come back and i really um and am appreciative um, for you guys that have hung in there with me and yeah, so thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.